Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ariel Laure Lua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry where we fellowship together online to seek the face of the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Coming live from Lagos State, Nigeria, I know that as you join us today, as we fellowship together, as we pray together, to seek the face of the Almighty God, the Lord will arise and intervene on that matter. According to Luke 21, verse 13, we say, He shall turn to you for a testimony. That matter, that marital matter, that financial matter, that emotional matter, that matter concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, concerning your loved one, He shall turn to you today for a testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma. One more time. That that matter, this very day, the Lord will turn it to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus. So why not sit down, get ready for a defined encounter for a life transforming testimony. You are welcome, Jesus' name. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for this month thank you for this program thank you for this ministry thank you for what you have been doing in our life thank you for those wonderful testimony thank you for your power that is made known that is made revealed in our life in our home in our business in our career father we give you praise we give you honor today as we come before you today my lord my god i ask that the heaven open upon us in the name of jesus Evils of mercy, evils of favor, evils of lifting, evils of revelation, evils of divine encounter. Father, let it open upon each and every one of us today in the name of Jesus. You all say you have not asked us to seek you in vain. You have not asked the house of Jacob to seek you in vain. You have not asked us to seek you in vain. My Lord, my God, as you come before you, to seek your face in the place of prayer. I ask that today our coming before you will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. I ask that our coming today will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that in every area of our life you will reveal yourself, you will reveal your wonder, you will reveal your power, you will receive, you will reveal your grace in the name of Jesus. That which only you can do, which no man can do. That which only you can do, which no man can do. That miracle, that, rev, that science and wonder, that event, that only you can bring it to pass in our life. That record, that only you can approve, and no man will disapprove. Father, I ask that today, you wrote that miracle in our midst in the name of Jesus. Today is Friday. Is there anyone that is on sick bed? Is there anyone listening to me right now that is watching, that is listening? from sick bed from under the yoke of one ailment or the other i decree i declare that the power of the almighty god for divine healing the power of god for divine healing the power of god for divine healing let it rest upon you today in the name of jesus let it rest upon you 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 the power of the almighty god for divine healing the power of god for divine healing the power of god that will bring you out of that sick bed today i decree i declare if you can agree with me with your louder amen let the hand of god let it rest upon you in the name of jesus let it rest upon you 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 the hand of god for lifting the hand of god for lifting the hand of God for healing. I decree, I declare. Let it rest upon you. And if it's your husband, if it's your wife, it is your, your children, any of your children, your relative, I decree, I declare. The hand of the Almighty God for divine healing. Let it rest upon them today in the name of Jesus. The Lord will visit you. The Lord will visit your home. The Lord will visit your marriage. The Lord will visit your business. The Lord will visit your career. The hand of God for miracle will touch you today in the name of Jesus. 
the hand of God for miracle we touch you today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Therefore, declare this to this prayer meeting, to this communal service. We declare it open in the name of God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. We ask that the table of life, the table of communion, the bread of life, that the Lord God will breathe upon you today. It is written in your word that as Jesus Christ was teaching, the power of God was made available to him as he was teaching. As Jesus Christ was teaching, as he was sharing the word of the Lord, the power of God was made available to heal. Every one of you under the sound of God through me. The power of God for divine healing. Let it touch you today in the name of Jesus. You will testify. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Once again, wherever you are, wherever you are joining me from, whatever country you are logging in from, I welcome you to Pray Negus Network, an online prayer ministry where we come together in the place of prayer to seek the face of God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Is there any time to you have asked nothing? But now, ask. Whatever you ask in my name, my Father will do it. So we are asking, we stand up on that scripture. We are asking, we are praying, we are seeking the face of God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he said, we don't know what to pray. But the Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, the Holy Spirit, praying in us, he prayed through us, he travelled through us. Why? He is with the Father. He knows the reason for that uh, affliction. He knows the reason for that problem. He knows the solution to it. So he's praying through us. He's groaning through us. Is revealing them unto us. So we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. And if you are joining us for the very first time, my own name is Orelua Ariola, the lead pastor. Once again, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. This month, we are praying on what we title to be of good share, arise for a cause you. Be of good share, arise for a cause you. And the anchor scripture is taken from Mark 10, 46 to 52. Mark 10, 46 to 52. And uh, we are looking at the man there, Blind Bartimaeus, as our case study. And that is the man we are using, looking at him, looking at events in his life, looking at what happened to him, how he came out of those situations. We are using it to pray. And uh, yesterday, lead us in some prayer. I share some scripture with us and I told you yesterday this error must be corrected. This error must be corrected. I shared with us yesterday some errors in the life of blind Bartimaeus. Blind Bartimaeus from that uh, scripture, Mark 10 46 to 52. And I also share with us from Ecclesiastes 10 5 to 7. Ecclesiastes 10 5 to 7. I say, I have seen error in high places. I have seen error. What are those errors? Number one, folly. I mean, somebody who is not qualified. Somebody, I don't want to use a, a foul language, a negative statement. F O W L Y, according to King James. In the class system, five to seven. That you see them in high places. And those who have the understanding, those who are capable, amen, what happened to them? They are just a mere gate man, a mere servant, office keeper, office assistant, errand, errand boys in that factory. And he, he continues, he said, I have seen servants on horses, servants on horses, and priests walking barefooted. Is that not error? A servant walking on horses and a priest walking barefooted. Is there in the Bible? For those of us who are Bible scholars, when you, if you remember the story of the only surviving child of uh, in the lineage of Saul, Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth was the grandson of Saul. Mephibosheth was the son of Jonathan. Jonathan, the son of Saul. Saul gave back to uh, Jonathan. Jonathan gave back to Mephibosheth. But there was a time all the children, all the families of Saul were 
annihilated were killed. Praise the Lord. But there was one that survived it. There was one that survived it. So when King uh, David, who already entered into covenant with Jonathan, the son of uh, King uh, Saul, one day he said, how oh, I wish that there's somebody that remained in the house of Saul that my promise, the covenant, the promise which I made with my friend, my late friend before he died, Jonathan, that I can repay it. And they have to go and call a, a servant. Not just servant, a slave. A slave from the house of Saul. One of the slaves, the slave in the days of Saul, they have to go and call him Siba by name. When they call Siba out, the Bible says Siba had many wives. Siba had many children. He had many properties. A slave. A slave. He had many wives. He had many children. And he had many properties. But the only surviving child in the lineage of Saul was living in one rural area. The Bible did not talk about his wife. But the Bible said he had one child. A priest was paralyzed living in the rural area. He managed to just have a child. No more, no less. But somebody that's supposed to be a slave under him how many wives, many children. Is that not an error? Which means what that surviving child, the prince, Prince Mephibosheth, what is supposed to be enjoyed? This slave was enjoying it, was enjoying his life. I pray for somebody who can say louder, Amen. Your no benefit, your inheritance that are in the hands of another person. What are you supposed to enjoy in that business? What are you supposed to enjoy in that area? In that marriage, mommy, what are you supposed to enjoy? But another person is enjoying them. Today, let the Lord God restore them back unto you in the name of Jesus. That error must be corrected today. Did I hear your amen? I said that error, the Lord will correct it in the name of Jesus. So we look at some, yesterday I shared with us some errors in the life of um, Brian Bartimaeus is the Bible said he was blind, which means there was an error concerning his head. He was reading, living at the roadside. He was living at the roadside. There was error concerning his accommodation. I share some accommodation problem. Where one live, where one stay before. Amen. Just like uh, Jacob in the house of uh, Laban. The Bible said concerning his job. His work, the work of his hand, that was error. He was begging. And the Bible said, God has not created us to be a weak and beggarly element. God did not create you to be a weak or beggarly element. Galatians. But there was error in his life. And that error turned him to a weak and a beggarly element. Concerning your work, concerning your business, concerning your career, every error that is fighting that your work, today the Lord will correct it in the name of Jesus. What about his identity? It's a, a, the Bible said blind Bartimaeus. And he was putting on a cloth, a cloth of beggar, a cloth of um, blind people. And uh, I, I heard it yesterday with another error in his life. What is that error? The error of the people that surrounded him. Destiny Demota. Destiny silencer. <laughs> Destiny haters. Those that do not want good thing for him. He was calling for the help of Jesus. But those that surrounded him, they were asking him to be quiet. They want to silence him. They want him to testify. They knew very well that if Jesus Christ should hear his voice, Jesus Christ is going to heal him. But they don't want him to be healed. They don't want Jesus Christ to help him. Who are those people that surround you? Who are those people that surround your life? Instead of them to help you, they are there to demote you. Instead of them to promote you, they are demoting you. Instead of them to use the, their mouth to promote you, to talk good things about you. Even if they are not going to say any good thing about you, let them just be quiet. But they go about campaign negative things about you, about your work, about your career. Today, anyone in your life, anyone in your marriage, anyone in your business, anyone in your career, that their presence is for error. May God 
separate you and them in the name of Jesus. May God separate you and them in the name of Jesus. May God separate you and them. May God separate you and them. May God separate you and them. The Bible said, Abraham, go. Leave your father, your mother, your, your people. Why? Because Abraham's father was going from point A to point C. And when he got to point B, he met his family there. And his family encouraged him to stay. And the Bible said, Abraham's father and Abraham and other people, they stay with the family. And what happened? Abraham's father died there. He did not get to where he was going. And where he was going was a defined place. So when it was time for Abraham, instead of Abraham to settle there, God said, Abraham, rise. You have to leave these people. Your father met these people and he could not continue his journey in life. He died with them. Must you stay with them? Must you die with them? Say so you have to go. And when you look at it, where God took Abraham to was the same place where his father has a man that is going. He was going. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. Everything that stopped your parents, everything, everything, whatsoever they may be, every error that stopped your parents, that stopped your father, that stopped your mother, every error in your line that always stop people, progress. Today, let the Lord God correct that error in the name of Jesus. Let the error be corrected. Let the error be corrected. And I share with us yesterday also, before we pray, how I was in the group of people that their destiny permit me to use the word crasher. They crash destiny. Just like crab. I remember I mentioned crab yesterday. When you put 100 crabs, crabs, when you put them inside a bucket, none will escape. You don't need to cover it. If you put three snails in a bucket, if you don't cover it before you come back, the three of them will escape. Because they will be climbing each other to escape. This one will climb this one, and this one will not shake. This one will climb this one, as this one is climbing this one, this one will bow down so that this one can go. But for crab, he won't want to escape. Another one will bring his claw. Where are you going? Come back. <laughs> hey. That was, I was in that environment some years ago. And uh, I shared with all yesterday. How God turned it, everything around. And I used what happened day before yesterday as an example. I was not able to come online day before yesterday because of some technical issues that uh, are beyond my control, immediate control at that time. And for me to come back yesterday, I needed to fix them, correct them, repair some. And uh, in the evening, the engineer gave, so gave me some, some bills that uh, when I look at them, I need to come online the second day. That was yesterday. And in the night, I just sent a message to some people. I don't know them. They are just members online from different area, from different country. And before you know it, they did not even say, Pastor, this boy, you disturb us in the night. Why are you sending that kind of message? God used them to help me. God used them to support the ministry. And before 11 o'clock, everything, everything was intact, so I was able to come back online yesterday. Do you see the people that surround me now? Every one of you online. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. I said, may God bless every one of you online in the name of Jesus. Anytime I come online, I see your number. You may not make a comment. The Facebook will tell me there are social numbers of people. And the YouTube will give me the numbers of people who are online. Other platform will tell me these are the numbers of people that are watching right now. I may not know their name unless you maybe make comment. But I will see the numbers. So I'm happy. Because you are here to encourage me. You are here to pray. Some of you are here to pray for me as I'm ministering now. Some of you are interceding. Lord, answer this boy. Lord, let that be testimony. Are you not destined to pass to me? Are you not destined to encourage us? Praise the Lord. But some years ago, I was surrounded with people. If you want to make progress, they will, if you are not careful, they will break your leg. Where are you going? You can't go anywhere. We'll break your leg. <laughs> I pray for you. Anyone that surrounds you, anyone that surrounds your husband, anyone that surrounds your wife, anyone that surrounds your children, that the assignment is to, is to pull you down. The assignment is to cause confusion. The assignment is to bring calamity. Today, let the God, let God separate you and them in the name of Jesus. 
is an error. So today we are going to continue. This error must be corrected. Part two. And today I will quickly share with us in the five mi five ten minutes a particular error that you and I must pray about. I call it parental error. Parental error. The error of our parents that brought problem, that brought battle, that introduced crisis into our life. Some steps, some steps that our parents have taken in the time past. When I say parents, I'm not only talking about your immediate father, your immediate mother. It can be your grandfather. It can be your great-grandfather. Not unto the third or the fourth generation, but unto the tenth generation. Tenth generation. Tenth generation. Count yourself. You are number ten. Your immediate father is number nine. Your grandfather is number eight. Your great great grandfather is number seven. Count it like that. So ten, ten generation. The problem that the, the, the what they have done that now introduce problem crisis into our life, into our home. Parental error. Jacob was living with his father, living and enjoying enjoy his life. But his mother introduced problem into his life. And as a result of that problem, what happened? He was, he was running at a scatter. Run, 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 and run to meet to his uh, uncle's house. Occultic place. Occultic place. And that one began to manipulate his destiny. He planned to marry one wife. That man forced him to marry two wives. Parental error. Error from his mother. Without the woman helping, that's the way that the agenda of God will be fulfilled. What about Joseph? We look at him and say, Joseph's problem was as a result of his brother. Not his brother, his father. His father. The Bible said, his father made clothes of many colors and gave it unto him. All other people, just one color. Uh uh. What is the meaning? It's significant. The brothers understood it very well. So it's unique. Joseph is unique among us. You gave him the best clothes. You gave him a special clothes. But all of us, you just gave us. And from there, they hated him more because of that garment. You know, when, he, when, when the brother was about to deal with him. The first thing they took from him was that garment. Was that garment. They soil it. What makes you different among us is this cloth. So we are going to take it from you. So they took what makes him different. They soil it. They, they, they kill, kill, kill an animal and pour blood on it. And they don't show it to the father. What you gave him that make him different. Look at it. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Without the brother send, sending him to slavery. The agenda of God will still come to pass in his life. But his, his brother, his father, based on fatherly love, my special son, introduced problem into the life of Joseph. What about Mephibosheth? I've talked about that one. The grandson of um, He was slain because his father entered into problem. And when they learned that uh, his, father, his grandfather, his grandfather entered into problem, and when they killed the grandfather, and they kill all others, uh, uh, his uh, uncle, what happened? The housemaid carried him and was running away. And as he was running away, a baby fell down and he was paralyzed because of the problem of his grandfather. What about Ephraim and Manasseh? The two children of Joseph. Joseph brought them before his father so that his father would pray for them. The grandfather transferred the blessing of the elder onto the younger one. So the problem was as a result of the not only not only the father, the grandfather hero. What about Moses? Moses worked for God. He saw the promised land. But when he look at it, God said concerning Moses, Moses, my servant, meek and gentle. God himself introduced Moses as a servant, meek and gentle. The man that God said meek. The man that God said gentle. When it is made small for them to enter to the promised land, anger arose from nowhere. And because of that anger, he missed the promised land. He prayed unto God. Beg God. God said, no, I will, not, I will not forgive you. Why? 
the Exodus chapter 1, a man from the house of Levi married a woman from the house of Levi. Genesis 37, Genesis 38. Jacob blessed all his children. When it was time for Levi, he caused their anger. Let my spirit not be with them. Jacob was a prophet. The spirit of prophet is God. The spirit of prophet is God. So when the, when the father said, let my spirit not be with them, it simply means, let my God not be with them. He caused Levi. After many years, a man from the house of Levi married a woman from the house of Levi. A man under the cause of let God not answer them. Let God not be with them. Marry a woman from the same place. Cause raised to power two. They gave her to Moses. So when it mattered most in the life of Moses, God was not there for him. God refused him. He labored for God, but he did not enter into promise land. Why? His parental hero, the anger of his grandfather. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. Every past event of your parent that introduced battle into your life, every event that happened in the life of your great great grandfathers that opened your life into battle, that sentenced your life into slavery, that sentenced your life into hardship, that sentenced your marriage into sweat and struggle. Today, that event is an error. I decree, I declare, let that error be corrected in the name of Jesus. Let it be corrected. Let it be corrected. Let it be corrected. In 1 Samuel chapter 3, God was angry with prophet Eli. And God said, I have promised him that his generation will be a priest unto me, will be servant unto me. He said, because he honored the children, he did not deal with the children. He said, far be it. None of his children will ever stand to minister before me again. After many years, after Eli died, the children died. The only surviving child in the house of Eli, the man, his name is Abiata. Abiata labored and sweat with uh, King David. When David died, Solomon saw all the labor, all the pain, all the agony that Abiata suffered with his father. So when Solomon built the temple, the only man who can be the high priest in that temple was Abiata because his father was a priest. But hear me, don't forget, God already caused a lie that none of his children will ever be priest unto him again. So when it was time for him to be put in the priest, as a priest in the uh, tabernacle in the church, to be enjoying his labor, he ran into mistake. He ran into error. And what not happened? The Bible said in 1 Kings 2, 26, 27, 1 Kings 2, 26, 27, the Bible said, Solomon trusted Abiata out of the tabernacle. Because of that, his mistake and error. Solomon said, I will have killed you. But because I remember all your pain, all your labor, all your sweat with my father, how you suffer with my father, because you suffer with my father, I will not kill you. But the only thing I will do for you is, the Bible you said, he trusted him. He threw him. He was thrown out of the tabernacle so that he will not become a priest again. He will not become a priest again. And the Bible now says something. So that the word of the law will be fulfilled concerning the house of Levi. Concerning the house of Eli. He was already a priest. But because there was a curse on ground upon his father, that no one from that line will become a priest. He entered into error. He entered into a mistake. And the man said, the king said, instead of me to kill you, I will not kill you. But you will not be priest here again. And the Bible now said, so that the word of the law will be confirmed. No matter how holy, how holy he live, that curse must come to pass. There was a cause upon his fathers that no one would be in that position. And he found himself there. Ah. The Bible said, so that the word of God will be confirmed. What is that negative statement? What is that negative cause? What is, what is that negative trend in your lineage? What is that negative prophecy? What is that negative vision? What is that negative command incident that always happened to people? It's an error. Today, 
that error in your learning the lord will correct it in the name of jesus one more before you are going to lift up your hand and you are going to personalize prayer your family is different from my family the error in your life is different from the error in my life the error of your father is different from the error of my father Hosea 7 1 and 2 Hosea 7 1 and 2 hear me very well Hosea 7 1 and 2 said when God would have healed Israel the iniquity of Ephraim was remembered when God would have healed Israel Israel was sick Israel had been praying all these years but when it was time for God to heal Israel the iniquity of Ephraim was remembered when it was time for Ephraim to be blessed, God now remember for Israel to be healed. God now remember one sin that they sinned many years ago. And instead of him to be healed, robbers, thieves, enemy, God released them. God permitted them to root them, to deal with them. What is that sin of your fathers? What is that sin of your mother? Whenever it is time for you to have a major breakthrough, the sin of your father always come, always show up. And that sin always rob you of your blessing. When it is time for your promotion, the sin, the iniquity of your great-grandfather will always show up to rob you of that blessing. It's an error. Parental error. I decree, I declare today, that error, that parental error that has been robbing you of your blessing, that has been robbing you of your lifting, your promotion, your increase, that parental error, that parental iniquity that has been robbing you of your peace today is an error. The Lord will correct it in the name of Jesus. The Lord will correct it. 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 Lift up your hand. So, oh Lord my God, every iniquity of my fathers, every iniquity of my mothers. Deny me my blessing by the blood of Jesus. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Be wiped off. 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 Can you declare and declare every iniquity of your fathers, every iniquity of your mothers that deny you promotion, that deny you increase, that deny you enlargement, every iniquity of your parents that devil is using to torment to harass you, to rip you of your blessing. Say by the blood of Jesus. That iniquity be wiped off, 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 be wiped off. Can you declare and declare? Let the iniquity be wiped off. That sin, that record that any man using to rob you of your blessing, command it to be wiped off in the name of Jesus. That parental hero, let it be cancelled, let it be wiped off. Let it be cancelled. Let it be wiped off. Let it be cancelled. Let it be wiped off. Let it be cancelled. Let it be wiped off. Let it be cancelled. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Parental hero. Moses was not born. His father and mother was not born. When he lied, sin as a result of anger. In book of Genesis, I think that's it. Their father caused them, caused Eli. Levi, Levi. Because of his anger, after hundreds of years, the cause of that anger now catch up with Moses. Moses labored with God. He labored for God. He worked with God. He talked to God. It's only blessing. It's only reward for all what is said for. Do you know it? God said, I will only show you the land. Climb to the mountain. Mountain Pisca. He climbed to the mountain on top of mountain Pisca. And about God, if God did not even show him, he's better. Do you know why? God took him there. And God was showing him. When you read your Bible, it's there. And God was showing him. You see that place? That was the river full of milk and honey you see that place god was showing him the land and was telling him the benefit of the land where you have water where you have valley where you have mountain where you have palm palm trees god was showing him everything can you imagine you said somebody will not enter into the world place 
And you now say, let him come and see. It's so painful. You only see. You only smell. But you know. Many of you. We are Mr. Hemel. You only see blessing coming. You only hear about blessing. But you don't attend to it. You don't receive it. Why? Because of the iniquity of fathers. Eli refused to deal with the children. And God now said, none of your children will be a prisoner to me again. And after many years, the only surviving child found himself. Can you just imagine? Solomon built the biggest, the most richest temple in the world. The high priest there will just be, will just be leaking, leaking only. And this Abiata was supposed to be in that position. Ah, his life is better. But what happened? The iniquity of his father catch up with him. Each time I read that scripture, I always feel, I feel, I always feel like crying. Because of one statement. The Bible says, so that the word of the Lord will be confirmed. Ha! Ha! So it, it was not intentional. That error was programmed. Was programmed. What has your, your fathers to 10 generations, your mothers, what have they done that you are not paying the price now? Lift up your hand. You are going to take that prayer again. Say, so, oh Lord my God, every iniquity of my fathers, of my mothers, deny me my blessing, deny me my lifting, deny me my promotion, deny me my peace, deny me my joy, every iniquity of my parents, that are waging war against me, waging war against my marriage, waging war against my blessing, waging war against my head. So, Lord my God, by the blood of Jesus, be wiped off, be cancelled, be wiped off. That parental error, that parental iniquity, be wiped off, 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 be cancelled, be wiped off, be cancelled, be wiped off, be cancelled. Can you declare and declare, let it be cancelled? Let it be wiped off, let it be cancelled. Let it be wiped off. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say in the name of Jesus. Every parental error affecting my life. Every parental error affecting my life. I don't, I keep saying it. I love to work in office. I love to work in when, so that when when all my friends in offices, in corporate organization, where they are talking, yes, they must not beat me. I must. <laughs> I love to work in office. I love to exercise energy, energy, working, working, because of my upbringing game. But here am I. I find myself as a priest. I find myself as a priest. I try to, when you are, if there's anyone like abort, I try to abort this assignment myself. But it did not work out. Everything that you can talk about, I try it. But one day I learned something. I said, oh, no wonder. My grandfather, my mom's father, those that know him, he said, between 10 and 15 years before he died, the man only have one prayer. Ten between 10 and 15 years. 10 between 10 and 15 years. The man only have one prayer. Lord, in every generation, let me have somebody that will be a priest unto you. In every generation, let me have somebody that will be a priest unto you. Let me have one person that will be a priest unto you. In every generation. That means my children, let that be a priest. My grandchildren, let that be a priest. My great grandchildren, let that be a priest. For every generation to eternity, let that be a priest. That man was asking for that prayer. Be over 10 years every day. People say we stay for a particular time. 
and become part and parcel of him a particular time. Every day, five hours. That's what you'll be asking God in every generation. Let me be a priest. Let that be a priest. Let me have a priest that will be serving you. So when I heard that, I said, no wonder. I tried to abort. That's not what I did not do. Oh, forget it. Forget it. Me. <laughs> I don't enter church. Mm-mm. Me. Bible. What is Bible? It's in an ordinary book. Only God knows how many Bible I've torn. Only God knows how many Bible I've set on fire. <laughs> Today, my, I breathe, I live, I do everything on Bible. What my grandfather established. What is that parental hero? What is that seed that your fathers are sown that you are reaping the affairs now? What is that seed? Your father, your grandfather, your mother, your grandmother. What is that seed that they planted and you are the one that is now reaping the affairs? That's, that's, that's what you are talking about. He planted that prayer. Let that be a priest. In every generation. And I cannot. I try everything possible. It did not work out. <laughs> it's not work out. No work out. Lift up your hand. Say, Oh Lord, my God. I can't hear you. Say, Oh Lord, my God. Every parental hero that is affecting my life. Every parental hero that is affecting my life. Say by the blood of Jesus. Be corrected. That means whatever your fathers have done that is not affecting your progress, debar you of making progress. Say, Lord, let it be corrected in the name of Jesus. Let it be corrected. That parental error that is affecting my business, affecting my career, Father, let it be corrected. Let it be corrected. Let it be corrected. Whatever my father have done, whatever my mothers have done, and it's not affecting my progress, Lord, let it be corrected. Let that be correction. 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 That error in my life. That error in my marriage. That error in my business. That error in my career. Concerning my earth. That error. Concerning the work of my hand. That error. Father, let it be corrected. Let that be correction. Let that be correction. Let that be correction. Let that be correction. Can you pray that prayer? Let that be correction. Let God correct it. Let God correct it. Let God correct it. Let that be correction. Parental hero has said to my life, I've said to my marriage, I've said to my business, I've said to my career. No, today, let that error be corrected. Let it be corrected. Let it be corrected. Let it be corrected. You that parental error that deny me promotion, that deny me increase, that deny me enlightenment, be corrected. Lord, correct it for me. Correct it, O Lord. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. The Bible said, "Suffer not the wish to live." Anyone who is a witch, a witch is somebody that practices sorcerers. When the Bible said witch, it's not only those who fly in the night to one kovu. No, anyone that practices sorcerers, magic. The Bible says, suffer them, suffer them not to live. That means put them to death. And if God said they should kill somebody, they should put somebody to death. Everything that pertains to that person must be put to death. If she's a woman, the husband, the children, everyone living in his house, in her house, must be put to death. If it's a man, the wife, the children, the workers, everyone living, the father, the mother, everyone. We have them in the Bible. If your grandfather practice sorcerers, okay, let me let me bring it down. If your great 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 grandmother up to fifth generation is a witch, everything about her must be put to death, according to the Bible. 
so that she escaped it spiritually. She has been put to death. Everything has been put to death. The children have been put to death. So why? Do you know why things are not working for you now? Anytime you reverse, everything must crash. Why will it not crash? Your head must always fail you. Your grandmother, your great great grandmother was a witch. And everything about her must be put to death. So nothing must work in her lineage again. Do you see now? That's the meaning of that prayer. Every parental error affecting my life. Is it not an error? Lord, let it be corrected. Are you ready? Lift up your hand again. Can you turn it to prayer? That's why I say it's a personal prayer today. You mentioned that error in your life. If you are having a health issue that they call it inheritance, it happened to your mother, it happened to your father, now it's happening to you, you better pray. You better pray. The same health issue that killed your mother, you're having the, tra the traces, you better pray. You better pray. Medical will not solve it. It's an error. At certain age, Something must happen to people in your family. And you are getting to that age. You are dreaming it. You are seeing the traces. You better pray. Better pray. There are some family they know is going to die next. Because they know that a particular age bracket, anybody that gets to that age bracket must either die or run mad. Must die or run mad. And so they know the moment somebody is getting to that age, they are expecting any of the two. parental hero affecting my life. A woman cried. The, father, the husband was working in a, what do you call it? Oil company. All this uh, petrochemical company. International one in this Nigeria. So was to be promoted to director level in that particular company. And he woke up one day. He got to the gate of the company. The, the driver on so it took uh, the security man like up to a minute and the man just get angry and he said, I'm going to resign. So is that anything? Man, even for the man to leave the security post and come open the gate, it's going to take some seconds. The man refused. The man refused. The man refused. The man refused. The wife was crying. I called the mother-in-law. You need to see. Madam, mommy. How old is this man? He said, when they told the, the mother in law, the mother in law just said, hmm. I said, yeah, okay. we need to talk. Hey, we need to talk. We need to talk. You know what the, what the mother in law said? The same age, their father, on getting to his age, he gets angry and resign in his office. His senior brother, when he gets to that age, so when it happened to the father, the the, my, the husband, which the father and mother was still alive, and the mother ran to that uh, mother-in-law, and the mother-in-law said, "Is that age that is a problem in this family?" It's either they resign or they will die. It's either they resign or somebody they will die. Thank God that your husband did not die; he resigned. The senior brother of your husband, on getting to that age. He refused to resign. They did by day today. Either the second day or the third day, he died. He died. So it's either they resign or they die. So your 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 husband brother that did not resign, he died. So it's something that always yeah, you see now. You see now. So you think that it's your husband that is having problem? You see that it's one manipulation. It's in the lineage parental error. At a particular age, nobody must do well. Nobody must do well. It's not parental error. All this thing, let me tell you, all this has the sort of causes S U R S E. There's a cause pronounced somewhere. There's a covenant binding somewhere. There's a cause somewhere. There's a covenant binding somewhere. Moses did not enter into the promised land because there was a curse. Abiata was thrown out because there was a curse. In that uh, uh, Osea 7 that I share, what happened? The man, uh, uh, the man could not be healed. 
Because there was a cause. There was a cause. Anytime somebody needs to have a major breakthrough, the iniquity of the fathers, great grandfather must be remembered. Because there was a covenant. Covenant cause. Covenant cause. Covenant cause. What is that unknown covenant? What is that unknown cause? Anytime you are about to embrace scrutiny, they always speak and they chat about everything. Lift up your hand. We are going to mention it. If your own is earth, this earth issue is an error. If your own is marital pain, you are having pain in that marriage, mention it too. Mention it. Are you ready? Lift up your hand. What are those errors in your life? Mention it. Turn it to prayer. Every parental error affecting my life, affecting my marriage, affecting my health, affecting my business, affecting my children, affecting my finance. Lord, by the blood of Jesus, I've come before you today. Let those errors be corrected. Let it be corrected. Let it be corrected by the blood of Jesus. Father, correct them. Can you begin to turn it to prayer? Personalize them. Measure them. Measure them. What are those traces? What are those things that happen to your mother and you are seeing the traces in your life? What are those things that happen to your father? It's happened to your uncle. What are those things that are negative things that happen to your auntie, that happen to your uncle? Begin to measure them. Father, by the blood of Jesus, all this negative error, all this parental error that is affecting people in my lineage, Lord, I have come before you today. Let that be defined correction. Define correction. Define correction. Define correction. Lord, correct them, O Lord, by the blood of Jesus. Correct them, O Lord, by the blood of Jesus. Correct them, O Lord, by the blood of Jesus. Correct them, O Lord, by the blood of Jesus. Correct them, O Lord, by the blood of Jesus. Correct them, O Lord, by the blood of Jesus. Correct them, O Lord. Let there be correction. Lord, I ask for divine correction. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. One more. Please, don't miss tonight, Fiji. Don't miss tonight, Fiji. When you are coming, your prayer notes. When you are coming tonight, your prayer notes. Write those negative things. Your uncle. If you don't know, let me tell you how you know those negative things in your father's line or your mother's line. Your uncle. What are those negative things that happen to him or happen to them? Write them down. Your auntie, your mother's sister, junior or senior. senior. Don't say it's that woman that is that is living a reckless life. Eh, eh. You see the way she's living a reckless life. That is the trait of people in your lineage, in your mother's lineage. It's only God just help your mother. <laughs> Your father, negative traits, write it down. What are the things that happen? You are a woman. What are the things that happened to your mother before she died? And if she's still alive, what are the negative things that is going on in her life right now? Write it down. Your mother, your father, your uncle, your auntie, write it down. Then do summary of it. That is your identity. That's your identity. Please do it and come bring them tonight. Our weekly vigil tonight, 11 30 p.m. But before we go, the Bible said, When God, when Jesus Christ called Lazarus, Lazarus dropped the garment. Why did he drop the garment? It's a garment of beggar, it's a garment of prison, it's a garment of beggar, a garment of uh, blind people. When you see anyone that is blind, this is the garment you see with them. When you see somebody who's always begging, this is what you see with them. So you need to drop that because if he did not drop that, he is not going anywhere. He cannot move to the crowd. When they released Joseph from the prison, before they will bring Joseph to the palace, the Bible said they change his garment. They change his garment. Lift up your hand. So in the name of Jesus, every garment of error, every garment of error. Upon my life, upon my marriage, upon my business, upon my husband. Can you take it again? Say every garment of error upon my life, upon my marriage, upon my business, upon my career. Say in the name of Jesus, I set you on fire. I set you on fire. That garment of error, that garment of mistake, that garment of error. 
satanically upon you. Say, I set it on fire. 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 Garment of error upon you. Garment of sickness. Garment of debt. Garment of failure. Garment of regret. Garment of hatred. Say, I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus. I set it on fire. 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 Can you begin to set it on fire? Every garment of error, every garment of mistake, every garment of failure, every garment of sickness upon your life, say, set it on fire. Every garment of hatred, I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus, I set it on fire. I set it on fire. I set it on fire. Garment of reproach, garment of shame, garment of reproach, I set you on fire. In the name of Jesus, thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Can you bring in, bring out your communal material? You shall join us from the office, your cup of water. As you pray on it, it's no longer water, become the blood of Jesus. As you are watching from the house, bring your drink that represents the blood of Jesus, your flesh that represents the flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. It can be bread, it can be wafer, it can be biscuit, it can be anything to represent the blood of Jesus. Are you ready? Thank you, mighty Father. Father, I want to say thank you for today. Thank you for those parental errors that you have cancelled. Thank you for the error in the life of our parents that was transferred to us, that hinder us of testimony, hinder us of us of breakthrough. Thank you for the blood of new covenant. As you partake of this communion today, any sickness, any infirmity that hinder to us through our parents, let the blood of Jesus neutralize them in the name of Jesus. Any spiritual poison in us, in our body, that result into sickness, into infirmity, today, by the blood of Jesus, the Lord neutralize them in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of failure, yoke of setback, every satanic yoke upon you, that united that was transferred from lineage to lineage, from bloodline to bloodline, today, by the blood of Jesus, that yoke, the Lord break it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Father, breathe upon this flesh, breathe upon this blood, the blood of Jesus. As we partake of it, we take it unto life, not unto sickness, not unto condemnation, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Jesus' name, I pray. As I used to tell us, take the flesh, break it into two. The Bible says, and Jesus Christ break the bread, he break it into two, and he gave it to them. As you break it into two, that is the flesh of Jesus that was broken for you, so that you don't fall sick. So eat. As you eat, you eat unto life. No more sickness. No more recurring health issue in Jesus' name. Now take the blood. Lift it up. Use your mouth. Say thank you, Jesus. Can you say, say thank you, Jesus. Say, so I take this blood today. I take it to renew my strength. Say by this blood of Jesus, every parental error is corrected. Says I partake of this new blood, as I partake of this new covenant, as I partake of today's communion. Say every old thing, parental error, has become the things of the old. Say I enter into the new covenant, covenant of healing, covenant of restoration, covenant of blessing. Thank you, mighty Father. Drink as you are drinking, begin to proclaim new things upon your life. Mention that sickness. Say, so take this blood of Jesus against you, this sickness. Let me give you one minute to pray for yourself. Pray for yourself, decree and declare. And when it's your children, decree and declare upon them. No more sickness. That sickness will no longer waste your money. That sickness will no longer tie you down. You are released today. Mommy, you are released today. From that, you are calling sickness. You are released today. That you are calling health issue. It is an error. You are released from that error. In the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare it? Again, let's not forget as we are praying. Let's not forget by the spirit grace of God tonight, our weekly vigil. Time is 11.30 p.m. On YouTube, Praying Eagles Network. On Facebook, Praying Eagle. 
Facebook, Pray Nigu, YouTube, Pray Nigu Network. Or you come to our online church. Come, let's fellowship together. Free conference call up, Pray Nigu Network. Or send a message to plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. If you need detail, plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. And you shall be blessed today. You shall be blessed by any of our ministration. God has been using some of us, some people online, to make sure that the ministry keep running. Why not join them to be a blessing unto this ministry? Let God use you to bless this ministry. You are on Facebook or YouTube, you have the account detail there. GTB. You have the account detail on the screen. Or send a message to plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. Plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. You want me to pray with you? You want me, me to agree with you on any issue? You are free. Send the message. Send your prayer to plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. The same number. You want me to agree with you on any matter on any issue? Send message to that number. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Till we come to nine for our weekly Fiji. Go forth and uh, let that by the blood of Jesus, let that be defined correction. I say, let that be defined correction in the name of Jesus. Every error that hinder your progress, every error that hinder your progress, every error in your marriage, every error in your business, every error in your career, any error that the enemy are using to hinder you, to stop you. As you go this day, I declare, I declare, let the Lord God by the blood of Jesus bring divine correction in Jesus' name. Till we come tonight or tomorrow by the special grace of God for day 20. Go forth and let there be peace. Go forth and let there be divine correction in Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. God bless you. Dear Father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend. You and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, Please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.